All right, this is for my pregnant ladies. There may come a time in your pregnancy where you find it even difficult to put your shoes on, but it's not because the belly's in a way in the way. It's because of the swelling that yes. can happen. So I've called in our pregnancy expert Judah Schuler to help us with that. And you actually had your own personal story. Oh yeah, I had my feet got so swollen that I actually broke a pair of shoes. They mm. had a little strap across them, and then I was, had to go barefoot the you rest of the day. Broke the <laughs> shoes. I broke some shoes. Yeah. It well, was then you, you understand. Then you understand yes. women getting. How is this? very common or not common? It is, it's very common. Okay. It's one of the most common discomforts of pregnancy. And women find that their feet and their hands and their lower leg swell. Those are the extremities. Okay. And it happens because, you know, we've talked many times about how the body produces extra fluids, right. up to 50% of blood and fluid in the body. And some of that leaks out into the, the tissues. Okay. It's usually not something that is going to um, cause a lot of problems other than maybe you not being able to wear your shoes right. or something uh, for your legs and your uh, your lower legs and your feet but your hands sometimes that swelling can cause carpal tunnel syndrome and that happens to just a very few people but I have a cousin who experienced oh. that and she said it was extremely painful so that's another thing of you know you can't wear your rings but you might have some wrist problems so if we're experiencing that, it's not something we should be overly concerned or rush anywhere. This is pretty normal. Yes. Is there anything that, that we can do, maybe not necessarily to alleviate it, but just... Well, you know, it, I, there's not really much you can do about your hands, but your legs and your feet, we don't want you to stand for long periods. Um, when you sit down, try to raise your feet and your lower legs. That's always very helpful. Um, don't wear tight clothing around your waist. Drink lots of water. Exercise. We want you to watch what you're eating. If you have a, a diet that is very high in sodium, that can contribute to, you know, if, if you're eating fast foods or yeah. Chinese food or things like that. So, and then the other things, you know, as we say, drink water, avoid the, uh, those foods and eat healthfully. Right. Probably more uh, like nature presented the food to you. And then, um, you know, as lift your legs up whenever you can. And even sitting in a rocking chair and rocking will oh. help push blood back up towards the heart. Oh. So you can get practice in before that baby comes. Well, I was going to say, you can kind of get into a rhythm <laughs> with the rocking right. of, of the rocking chair. That's right. Um, but I, I love that you were saying this. And also probably watch the shoes that you Yeah, <laughs> watch wearing. the shoes. And um, it's usually not going to be something you have to bring up to your doctor, right. except for a few situations. If you have a job that you stand a lot, you might ask your doctor to write you a, oh. a note saying, you know, not to uh, stand, let you sit. If you have a lot of swelling, your doctor may prescribe maternity hose. And let me just clue you in, those are very difficult to get on. You may need your partner's help. Oh. And then one last thing, if you have the experience of, you know, swelling yeah. in your, your legs and your hands. All of a sudden you start swelling other yeah. places and it's and you have a change in your vision or your blood pressure goes then. up and you have protein in your urine, then that can be a sign of preeclampsia and that can be very, very serious. And so, I know we've uh, covered preeclampsia and yes. of course it's in your book, which I'm going to tell everybody how to get a hold of it. Thank you so much, Thank Judith. You. To learn more about your pregnancy, be sure to check out Judith's series of books. Visit her website, yourpregnancybook.com.